Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger. So this will be my newly updated assist tier list for Dragon Ball Fighters. And we're going to be doing things a little bit differently than how we normally do these tier lists. Uh, normally I have them in, you know, proper tiered order. And for assists, I feel like that doesn't tell the whole story sometimes. So, and now what we're going to be doing here is this. So we have here two sections here. We have neutral and recombo and gimmicks. And what I mean by this, and I'll post a quick flash of uh, the actual tier list completed after I'm done explaining this, just so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for good neutral or bad neutral, I, uh, this is what I simply mean by this. How likely are you to use the assist by itself? So no combos, no block stun setups, you know, no uh, gimmick setups, no nothing, right? You hit the button and you got no plan besides that, right? Uh, it could also be you hit the button and then you do something. But uh, generally speaking, how likely are you to use this assist on its own? And how good is it being used on its own? And for recombo slash gimmick, it's basically everything else. Obviously recombos, uh, if you're using it for, say, high block stun situations, or, you know, honestly, honest gimmick situations, and just all points in between. So these will be the two uh, kind of frameworks we're using to determine an assist strength. So if I'm smart, right here... is where I have uh, put the tier list was completed. So if you just want to see that, well, there it was. And uh, now we're just gonna talk through every assist in the game and go from there. So now let's just start at the start. Let's go by an old classic standby and let's pick Super Saiyan Vegeta. So Super Saiyan Vegeta, uh, ever since day one of the game, obviously his assist is easily one of the best. No one's ever gonna dispute it. So let's look at our two uh, options we have here of neutral and recombo and gimmick and all that kind of stuff right so how likely are you hit uh going to use him uh you know by himself very very likely we can almost basically put him right at the top right that's one of the main reasons you pick vegeta is for this assist so you can use it just to catch people doing any old shenanigan randomly right and so neutral we don't even need to argue the point we all know why it's really good in that right for recombo certainly solid allows for a lot of combos uh you know, a lot of assists will not allow for. Uh, as for anything else like blocks on, obviously now that you can deflect on block ever since the, the patch changed months ago, not so good for like that in a pressure situation, but still all in all, it's a gold standard assist. So when it comes to neutral, we're gonna put them right up here. And as for the recombo and stuff, is very solid. Now, since we did that, and he's obviously a highly rated character, let's just go break the bonds right now. So go tanks. How likely are you to use Gotenks in neutral raw by himself? Not very often, but still not never. Uh, it can be used to cover like, you know, basic key blasts or homing dash or something. So, you know, it's decent enough in that regard. But when it comes to recombos uh, and just any other situation, blocks on gimmicks, uh, he like, we, we got to put him like slightly off the list because he's literally off the chart. Uh, when it comes to recombo possibility and just like overall gimmickry and setups and everything, Gotenks is absolutely untouched. So we're going to have him just kind of off the barrier a bit because nothing is better than Gotenks when it comes out because his possibilities are basically endless. Every day fig people figure out new weird setups with Gotenks assists that just, you know, <laughs> blow everyone's minds all the time. It just, it's a, basically a daily event. The Gotenks assist, uh, when you have Gotenks on your team, and despite, you know, he's already a really good character, although this assist this tier list is not about that, um, your possibilities of what you can make your frontline characters do just go, you know, wacky, because he can let you do so many things. So next up, let's try a little trio here. We're going to use the three uppercut style assists. So that is Teen Gohan, Adult Gohan, and the newly added Cooler. So in a vacuum, the strengths basically go like this. Uh, Adult Gohan definitely has the worst uppercut, Teen Gohan's the middle-ish one, and Cooler definitely has the best uppercut style assist. Uh, this has to go with one. Uh, ever since the most recent patch, Teen Gohan's uh, assist got buffed in that, and it moves more forward horizontally by quite a bit, and that's really good. It covers a lot more space, although it's still not as much as Cooler. And Cooler has the most forward amount of space, obviously just covers the most amount of, like, area. And his is the invincible... Uh, it goes invincible rather the fastest of all three. Uh, I don't have an exact number, unfortunately, but I just know like through testing his assist, uh, will be invincible, uh, faster than the other two Gohan. So of uh, these three here, we just got to look at it that way. 
uh, that, you know, that's kind of the ordering between how they all work. Now, how does it work on this chart here? Well, we basically got to work it this way here. Since Cooler's got the most range, and eh, he's basically the best up out of them all, right? Uh, and then we got to basically kind of put him in a sliding scale downwards. So Gohan just doesn't have much range here. His recombo ability is like serviceable, but it's nothing amazing. Like mid screen, you're not going to get much. So we're going to put him down here. It's not great in neutral and it's not great in combos because you have to struggle to kind of come up with combo structure for Gohan when uh, it's just a lot easier for some of the other characters. Now, when we use here uh, Teen Gohan, once again, it's slightly better neutral, but the recombo ability, once again, is fairly poor. So we'll have them just kind of solid middle of the road here. And for Cooler, uh, well, once again, it's not amazing. He's slightly better neutral and roughly, for the most part, the same for recombo ability. So since we just did a trio, let's do a pair here. Let's bring out the blues. So these guys are always hotly contested. You know, everyone says, oh, they're way better or way worse than you think. And there's always, you know, just stuff's always in flux, right? Uh, but generally speaking, I don't think most people are going to argue that their assists are both fairly poor. Um, the characters themselves, you can argue to the, you know, the cows come home, you know, how good or bad they are. But for the assists, uh, it's bad. Like Blue Goku, I'm just going to be real with you here, in my opinion here. Uh, he's the worst assist in the game. Is there situations where you can use them in neutral? Sometimes, sure. Is there certain combos you can with them? do with them? Sure. That's literally every character except for Android 18 because she can't hit, right? So, yeah, as long as there is an assist, you can get a hit. But when it comes to neutral and just any kind of combo potential or setup potential, to me, he is absolutely the worst in the game. And honestly, Blue Vegeta is not better. The hitbox on the actual projectile is not bad. But to combo into it, oh my lord, uh, it's not very easy. So uh, just overall, we're going to have to rate him fairly low as well here. Um, it's It has more value in neutral than, say, uh, Blue Goku's does. But for recombos and everything, it's just poor. Is there, once again, is there setups you can do? Sure, absolutely. Once again, every character can do some sort of setup. But realistically, across the whole of the cast, outside of super edge case scenarios, they're just very, they're just both incredibly poor assists. Now, to get these bad boys out of the way early here, let's just go for it. Let's get the beam assists here. Uh, are the beam assists among the best assists in the game? Yes, sir. There ain't no arguing it. That's just how it is. Are they good in neutral? You bet your sweet bippy. Are they good in recombos? You bet your sweet bippy. So uh, we're going to put them here just right near the top because they are basically good in every conceivable situation you can put them in. Uh, and that's all there is to say. Like, they're basically the same assists, but I can't really overlay on top of them just for, like, chart readability i guess but you get the idea right uh they are just both amazing assists uh they own the whole you know bottom portion of the screen when you call them they're quick as well uh even though vegeta you know he self-protects himself by jumping up in the air he, he doesn't shoot as quick as the beams do um the fact that they wall bounce in the corner letting you drag and rush after them uh which you can also do with vegeta but it's a little more finicky depending on the, the character and the combo versus the beams just work easy for everybody right uh they're just perennially just some of the best assists in the game and that's why even if these characters were bad characters which they are not they're downright decent characters um but even if they happen to be bad characters they would still be picked because the assists are just that good so now let's look at a couple of the oddball assists so let's here we'll pick frieza we'll pick 18 and we'll pick krillin so these are some of you know not standard assists obviously 18 um it's difficult to rate her on a list like this. And I did think about it uh, beforehand before I made this list. Cause like, uh, I guess she's really decent and neutral, but like for recombos and all that kind of stuff, you know, can't use it for block stun. Uh, the only way you can use it defense is defensively. So, uh, we're just going to put her basically here. She's solid enough for a defensive, uh, play, but she can't be used for really anything else. So, uh, we'll just put her basically at the edge over here. Now, Frieza, let's talk about Frieza. Frieza, if he didn't have his one key weakness, which he obviously does, uh, he'd probably be one of the best assists in the game. But he, uh, the problem is, uh, unless you're in the corner or near the corner, his assist has a minimum distance. So uh, if you call Frieza, the, you know, this is my hands here, so it's a poor judge, but uh, you call him, he can't go any further away or any less than this, you know, like 
it comes at a fixed distance. So if you're like doing a little block string or something and you try to uh, use, say, Frieza to extend your blocks and take another turn, it's going to miss <laughs> on most uh, scenarios, right? Because of the fixed distance. And that really sucks. Obviously, the hitbox is huge. The pillars are a really good uh, button, uh, or rather, a really good hitbox, but it's unreliable in any kind of neutral situation. And for recombos and all that, it's also fairly weak because uh, you can't, obviously you can create scenarios, you can create setups, you can create combos where you can get it, but you got to struggle to do so. And it's really going to depend on your characters. So for neutral, tossing out by itself, like it's decent enough to catch like a snapback or something for someone to block. But in most situations, it's just, it's just poor, honestly. So while I don't, like when you're near the corner and it works basically the way you want it to, that's well, well and good, I guess. But that's not going to be how it is most of the time. So uh, we got to put it down here uh, for recombo ability and for neutral it's just not a great move, unfortunately. So last up here, we have Krillin. Now I'm a defender of Krillin and uh, I will argue often that, you know, this character is a lot better. People say not to say he's great, but. Uh, the assist is super finicky. Yeah, there's setups for the bean. Yeah, there's setups for the rock. The rock is actually better post patch as well. Uh, but let's get real. It it's not a very good assist. Uh, he is the poster boy for uh, if this game could let you have even not even three assists, but just two assists, right? And he can have a beam assist. Then Krillin would be a wildly more pick character, but he doesn't have a beam assist. He has the weird rock sends a beam assist. So uh, in the end, we gotta rate him kind of poorly. Uh, so we're going to put him down here because honestly, our boy Krillin, the assist could be better. So now let's talk about two paragons of block stun, uh, both on different angles though. So 16 and Trunks. So Trunks has the lowest block stun in the game uh, and 16 has some of the highest block stun in the game. Uh, so you might think, well, isn't low bad? Well, no, low is actually kind of good if you're prepared to take advantage of it. Because low block stun means the enemy could be Dragon Rush earlier, for example, right? And on top of low block stun, yo, the hitbox is absolutely ridiculous. Now, uh, when it comes to pure neutral for Trunks, how often are you going to let him rip raw? Not very often, honestly. You want to save that for the block stun or for the combo. So when it comes to neutral, uh, it's a very middle of the pack move. Uh, cause he's very vulnerable. The thing is when you charge with him normally for change the future, he has like that projectile invincibility, uh, the, you know, weak projectile, uh, invulnerability. He doesn't really so much have that in the, uh, assist version. So while he's not awful in neutral, uh, you are picking him for block stun and combos. Like all your setups off the blocks and all that, that is why you're picking him. And in that he's very, very, very good. He's absolutely a very solid character, but for just raw neutral, uh, not as much. Now, 16. Uh, once again, you're picking him for combos and blocks then, basically. Uh, in neutral, he's somewhat decent in that um, he's the only character I can think of offhand who actually appears in front of you. Like, most characters will either appear in place with you or maybe slightly behind you or they'll jump up and be above you or whatever. Uh, if you just hit him, he's in front of you. So you can get some uh, weird situations with that, like with a... Uh, like, say, very key, gimmicky, like, you know, oh, I'm Goku Black, and I'll do the the God Slicer, you know, lasers in the energy sword, and I'll go over your head, then call 16, land, and hit you, or something like that. So that's kind of cool, but uh, it's you. he's another character. You're almost never going to hit the button outside of a block stun slash combo situation, which he's very, very good in both. So we're going to put him basically in the same tier here as uh, Trunks. They're both amazing recombos, both amazing block stun for different reasons, uh, and all sorts of setups. But you're almost never going to be really be hitting that button by itself. So here, we'll put them actually down a little further. You're maybe a little more likely to hit 16 because of, uh, you know, uh, like float over setups. Like you're over the head, call 16 while they can't see. Because, uh, you know, he will leave them standing, unlike a Trunks. Trunks will knock them away. That's one of the real strong strengths of 16 as an assist is... Uh, when he hits the character, he will leave them standing. This is another case with the Yamcha, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah, so for both these characters, um, you're very rarely going to hit the button raw. But uh, for everything else, they're both really, really good. All right, now let's talk about another assist that someone fallen out of favor after the balance patch. Uh, not because it stopped being good, but just because everyone just stopped playing the character. Not to say there's no one plays the character, but Kid Buu. Uh, so Kid Buu, when it comes to just, we talk about neutral, the likeliness of you hitting that button 
uh, outside of a combo, blocks on whatever situation. Well, blah, 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 blah. we're gonna you're never hitting that button outside of those situations. Now, in those situations, yo, he's really, really good. Uh, his block stun is super high. It's super strong. It is the highest block stun in the game. He will keep you locked down longer than any other character. And uh, in very rare situations, you can use it in combos. And uh, the few combos you can use it, uh, like say for Android 18, uh, lets her get double supers uh, when basically no other assist would other than like Gotenks because Gotenks lets everything happen because Gotenks is ridiculous. That's why he's like breaking the charts here. But yeah, for very strong block stun, uh, you know, get your setup going on, you know, uh, he's just really good. There's not, you know, even if he's a weaker character nowadays than he was before, uh, not to say he's a weak character because he's still a really good character, even though people dropped him for some reason. Uh, but yeah, he's just downright a uh, really good assist. Uh, you know, it's still the number one lockdown assist in the game. Uh, cause once you're doing it you just gotta, okay, it's time to start flipping those coins to start to start guessing, right? Cause you were at the mercy of the opponent and whatever, uh, mix up they want to try on you. So for that alone, maybe it's not good in neutral, but yo, it's really good for everything else. So we talked about beams. Let's talk about another beam user here. Cell. So cells beam does not start up as fast as the Goku's does. Uh, it doesn't have the easy bake, uh, dragon rush combo setups that, you know, they do, uh, not to say it's bad in any way, shape or form. Cause yo, it's downright decent. Uh, it's very good in the many situations. Uh, just the only thing you can fault it for, it's just not as maybe universally applicable as the Goku's. It does hit a different angle, uh, depending on the setup. Uh, it might not reach exactly full screen, but it has good hits done. Uh, very good block stun, uh, just all around solid. So, uh, we will rate it here pretty decently, but, uh, just pound for pound in my opinion, not only cause you know, Hey, it's my video, right? My opinion only, it just can't match up to the Goku's. Now let's just talk about a couple of the more generic quote unquote assists. So let's say Ginyu and 21 and hit. So 21, Hey, it's just a fireball. Uh, it has a little more hits done, uh, after on hit that is after the patch but it's fairly kind of whole hum it's certainly serviceable and neutral you're still not going to you're basically want to save the combos just because you know hey it's a decent recombo assist uh but yeah it is nothing worth really mentioning so when it comes to the placement here uh we're gonna move over to gohan just a little bit here because it's about as average as you can get in all respects uh certainly not bad but it's nothing worth talking about. Uh, going to hit, that block stun is certainly decent. Uh, but that's kind of the main use for it. Uh, it holds people in place a little bit, but not as much as a lot of the other better assists in the game. Um, when it comes to hitting a button in neutral, very, very rare. You're mostly saving this for like block stun or your combo. So when it comes to that, we're going to put it down here. Uh, it's all right ish but that's about it and ginyu another example of hey it's absolutely a buffed assist but it's just not very good uh you're never really gonna hit that button in neutral for the most part and as far as this uh usefulness and combos it's better than it was i guess but it's not very good so let's talk about some of the more unique ones left on this list so here let's bring out piccolo we'll bring out 17 here uh these ones here are pretty different than the rest obviously piccolo is the homing ball and 17 is his little uh shield plus palm blast combination so piccolo was always a good assist straight up uh and it only got better after the patch because uh, it has more hit stun decay uh rather sorry more hit stun on hit meaning you can do combos you never could do before it uh how likely are you to use this button neutral by itself very likely uh and you know chase after it and all that kind of stuff and now that's always a very good neutral very high up here and now its usefulness in combos is actually quite a bit higher than it used to be so we're gonna put them right over here uh it's still not an amazing combo assist don't get me wrong but it is a very strong neutral assist um it's very strong for you know uh corner setups as well uh so for that uh it's just really, really, really good. Uh, you can just toss out that assist uh, on knockdown and just kind of let it rock from there and just see what all the setups are going to be. And it's just eminently useful. The second uh, it appears on screen, as it's called, it kind of dominates the conversation, as it were, because uh, it's always going to be the enemy's mind, and it's just a downright amazing assist. 17, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> um, 
there's some decent application for some like weird combo assist, but overall, it's not a really good assist. Uh, you, it lets some people get double supers. That's cool, I guess. But uh, you know, so can you know a lot of people and like you know, but they're very more. Wonder why I'm hovering over go tanks here. Uh, they're just a lot more universally applicable to every kind of situation. Uh, 17's assist is super edge case at the best of times. And maybe you are playing that team where the edge case is going to be realized and normalized, right? But that's just that. It's the edge case scenario. So it's poor neutral. It's poor recombo. It's poor kind of across the board. Uh, God bless you if you run a team where it works, but that's going to be the exception, not the rule, right? In my opinion, it's just a poor assist overall. So now let's use, uh, since we're talking a lot about the patch, and that's the reason we uh, made this video, because the old video was pre-patch, let's talk about some of the big winners from the patch here. So let's talk about Nappa, Majin Buu, Tien, and my boy Broly. These are some of the biggest winners from the patch. Uh, so they all got buffed. They're all a lot better than they were. So let's just start with, say, Nappa. So Nappa was always decent. It wasn't amazing, but he was always decent. Uh, he's kind of the poster boy of like your standard block stun slash pop up recombo assist, uh, and for that, you know, he's all right. Uh, he also does more a uh, hit stun on um, hit that uh, was like kind of universal for all these guys because they all got buffed in that exact way. So while he's all right neutral, you know, the main use is for recombos and uh, block stun. So hey, yeah, he's up here. Uh, Broly, Broly's was a wretched assist. Uh, straight up, I would put it before the patch. I put it like over in this uh, corner over here. Post patch, uh, he's much more reliable for combos now. He's much better in neutral now because uh, the the ball pops up when you think it should, when it didn't before. Uh, while it's not amazing in any way, stretch or form, uh, it's one you will actually hit the button in neutral every now and then, and it's still pretty decent for recombos. So I'm gonna put it right up here. Uh, Majin Buu for recombos, he's not amazing. Um, it's more hits done. Yes, he can do combos. He couldn't do before. Yes, um, or rather, you can do combos with him. He couldn't do before because of the additional hits done. Uh, but you're rarely gonna hit him in neutral. Uh, and the problem with them for combo structure is simply he pops people up way high. Like a lot of the pop up assists, like you you want that pop up, right? But he puts people way higher in the air. Like, uh, say a situation here where you'd have to like just jump with Nappa, right? You'll have to super jump with uh, the Majin Buu assist just to get your foe. And while that's not the end of the world by any stretch, uh, it certainly isn't ideal. So as far as like using him in neutral, it's not going to be very common. You're saving him for blocks and you're saving him for combos. Uh, but he is fairly average in all regards in that regard. So we're going to put him right down here. Now, Tien, of these four, in my opinion, he was already the best of these four to begin with. And then that head stun buff happened. So... Yeah, uh, he can do a lot. How likely are you to hit this button in neutral, you know, before you do anything? Very, very, very likely. Uh, for combo stuff, it's, like, still kind of whatever, you know? Uh, but uh, it's a very fast startup. It's the whole screen, horizontally, right? Uh, and it pops up. So uh, you can just do something like you call, like, here the most basic setup in the world, right? You call Tian, hit homing dash. Uh, if they block... Oh, well, if not, it's time for a combo, baby. Because uh, it just comes out so lightning quick. It so, you know, owns a whole part of the screen. Uh, it's just so good. And as for recombos, since he has more hits done on hit, you can do combos once again you couldn't do before. Uh, so he is just amazing. So as far as his placement here, uh, this area is getting a little crowded. So we're going to have to condense our tiers a little bit, I think. Uh, so we'll do something like this here. Poor Goku Black. You're getting kind of shoved in the corner here. Uh, as far as that, we're going to put him right up here because he is amazing. Uh, downright one of the best assists in the game, bar none. So now we're getting lower on the list here. So let's just bring out uh, two DLC characters here, uh, Vegito and Zamasu. So Vegito, his recombo ability is as average as it gets. However, in neutral, it owns a giant chunk of the screen. Yes, they are weak projectiles. You can homing dash them. Uh, but it is very solid uh, just for how much of the real estate it eats. Because it eats a lot of real estate. And it is also fairly quick. And he also protects himself by jumping up in the, uh, in the air. Uh, so while it's just about as average as you get for a recombo, it is a very strong neutral assist. Now, 
Zamasu. Zamasu is uh, interesting in that he's one of the better assists for like locking down people's wake up in the corner because he uh, vertically the assist is so uh, tall. He'll easily catch both, you know, up text, you know, back text with any kind of tech you want, right? And you kind of go from there. And he's also, you know, decent recombo, certainly not, you know, bad in any way, shape, or form. And uh, the projectile, while it's not the most amazing neutral projectile, uh, it is certainly serviceable. So what we're going to do here, it's not amazing neutral, uh, but it is a good lockdown assist, good recombo assist. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him dress smack down in the middle here of line. It's all right neutral. Uh, very good for covering people's wake ups. You know, decent enough block stun, decent enough free combo. So we're just gonna put him right over here. Now we're getting close to the end of the list here. So let's bring out uh the remaining Saiyans here. So Bardock, Goku, and Vegeta. So Bardock is fast. <laughs> uh, you're almost never gonna hit the button by itself. Um, and he's just kind of ho-hum. He's just really fast, right? Uh, he lets you do what you need to do, and it's in no way, shape, or form bad, but, you know, you're, when you have Bardock and Chimmy, you ain't picking Bardock because of the assist. You know, let's be honest here. You're picking Bardock for reasons other than that assist, right? Uh, it's certainly not a bad assist, but it's just very average here. So we're just going to put him below here. He's, you know, you're very rarely going to hit the button by itself, although the speed does allow you to do so. Uh, and... When it comes to blocks on recombos, all that kind of setups, it's just all right. Uh, now, going on here for uh, Vegeta and Goku. Goku, he's very... Neither of these are really going to be prone to hit by themselves. Let's be real here. They're both poor neutral. However, when it comes to the other end of the spectrum here, Goku has very high, very, very high block stun. Uh, he allows for wall bounces and the easy dragon rushes like some of the other characters over here. Uh, he doesn't have quite the same range. You can't abuse him like a beam assist. And pound for pound, the beam assists are way better in basically most ways you can think of. But he's certainly all right. Good block stun, as you get combos a lot of characters cannot get. Uh, and just decent. But he's not a neutral assist at all in any way, shape, or form. So we will put him down here. And as for uh, Vegeta, it's going to be the other end of the spectrum here. He's not a very good assist. Um, you're not going to be hitting that button raw. That's just, you're just not going to hit that button at all. Uh, and like, yeah, you can recombo, sure. But like, there's not much value in it. It's a fairly low blocks on assist, but it's not like Trunks. Uh, it's not, doesn't quite have that same value as Trunks, in my opinion. Because uh, Trunks is just a lot better at it. And so for that, I got to rate him uh, fairly low. And here we have our final two. So Yamcha and Beerus. Uh, Beerus... I know Sonic Fox is playing Beerus and everyone's all hype on Beerus again, but let's be real about that assist. It's it's not very good. Uh, it's very poor neutral. It has v some vague use for some recombo uh, stuff in the corner, so this is the best we can do for him. Because, uh, you know, uh, if you get the double hit in the corner, it's very high uh, hit stun, higher than most. But other than that, it's just not very good. Yamcha, on the other hand, is one of the best assists in the game for many reasons. Uh... When it comes to neutral, you're not going to be using them neutral much, honestly. Uh, but not to say you won't. Because um, how likely they hit the button raw? Well, it all depends, right? Like, it's not going to be like, you know, a Vegeta assist or nothing, right? But um, it's certainly downright decent. So, uh, but how hard are you likely to use it for block stun, for combos, for other kind of setups? Very likely. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Yamcha right over here. So he's not the better, as good a neutral as some of the other characters, sure. Uh, but when it comes to everything else, it is very vicious and very, very, very strong. So there's probably just a small jump cut here. Uh, so I did read Tula just, just a smidge, just based on some second opinions, and also just to make the words a lot more readable, because, you know, i got to make this a still JPEG, right? Uh, so I want to be able to read the words, because, you know, uh, 18 covering stuff's not going to work so good. But yeah, so that's uh, my tier list in a nutshell. Uh, agree, disagree. Once again, absolutely post in the comments, right? Uh, cause I know every time I make a tier list, you know, people get one way or the other and you know, some kind of mission, uh, will it be the blues? Cause usually people get mad about my opinion on Vegeta blue, but yo, come on. Even if you don't like my opinions on Vegeta blue, you're not going to defend that assist on me, are you? Well, maybe you are, maybe you are. So comment away. <laughs> uh, but in my opinion, no, that assist is very good, but yeah. So, uh, Overall, this is obviously my opinion only, but this is how I feel. Uh, Go Tanks, I have him breaking the barriers of fate because he's just that good. He just lets stuff happen for, you know, no other character can even dream of let happening. 
Uh, so that's why he breaks the barrier of fate over here. He's just bigger than the list itself. Uh, you know, he ain't here because, you know, it's a neutral recombo thing. And while well, certainly not bad neutral, you know, like Vegeta and the beams are just better and neutral, you know, Piccolo too. So I can't do that. But yeah, just breaking the bonds over here because, man, Gotenks is something else when it comes to that stuff. Anyways, uh, if you watch this far ahead, uh, thank you very much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. That's just my thought process and all this and how this all goes. And yeah, that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.